Hi there, this is Love Johar. So, Praveen recently asked me uh, on the Facebook uh, group, uh, how exactly can you write the non-conformities and what is the best way to write the non-conformities in the audit report? So, I just thought to have a quick discussion about this. Uh, before I start about the detailed discussion, how you can write the non-conformities, let me just uh, give you a brief about what exactly is the non-conformity. And for all those of you who are new to this uh, domain of information security, let me tell you, non-conformity is nothing but a deviation from the standard what the management uh, system says. So, for example, if something is written in one of the clauses of ISO 27001 and it is a standard requirement, and if somehow I am deviating from that clause, which is a standard requirement, and uh, I am not fulfilling that particular clause, clause's requirements or that particular requirement, which is clearly mentioned in the ISO 27001 framework, so that means I am actually deviating from that standard requirement. So it may come to a point where it comes as a non-conformity. So let us let us be very clear what exactly is the non-conformity is about. Okay. So after describing what exactly is a non-conformity, let me tell you now about how exactly can you write the non-conformity. So Praveen, this is for you, but it might help with all the other people who are there in this uh, channel as well. So let me give you a brief. First of all, you have to categorize the non-conformities. You can't uh, club all the non-conformities in a single domain. You have to categorize whether they are critical non-conformity or uh, you know major non-conformity or minor non-conformity. What exactly is the classification of that non-conformity which you are talking about? First of all, Praveen, uh, you have to categorize it. You have to categorize the non-conformity. It, it, so it would not be a point where all of your non-conformities are actually a major or you know or all of them are minor you have to segregate between them you have to categorize them first of all make sure that you have a category in place that is the first requirement which i would actually tell you and uh, this is how i would go, go about it okay the second thing is you have to make sure that the non-conformities objective is to actually help you create an actionable plan it, it is not to uh, create a panic among the uh, auditors and the management uh, you know executive team that okay we have so many non-conformities it's not like that it's it's, it's actually to create an actionable plan uh, so that you can address those non-conformities so make sure that you have this in mind that you have to create an actionable plan uh, for the non-conformity uh, that is uh, that has actually come up in your audit so this is how i would actually go about the non-conformity and when i talk about when you when you were asking me about how to write this non-conformity so let me tell you it's, it's simple it's, it's nothing uh, called a rocket science uh, what i would say is uh, mention the clause uh, which clause you are actually uh, you know referring that non conformity to and uh, along with the clause also mention what exactly is missing what ex exactly is that uh, non conformity about okay mention those details and after that mention an actionable uh, actionable plan actionable plan of action Mention that after your non-conformity, uh, along with the clause, uh, which is actually referring to that non-conformity, after that, mention actionable plan on which you foresee an action and also mention a time duration and uh, if possible, who are the people who will actually work on that actionable plan so that after that particular time period, you can actually look back and see whether those non-conformities have been addressed or not, which is more important than actually writing this non-conformity. So writing is not important. Uh, just get this point creating an action plan to counter those non-conformities and making sure that they are resolved is more important over here. So don't worry about the writing part, worry about the actionable part where you are actually focusing on the outcome of the uh, you know, non-conformities being resolved rather than uh, focusing on the writing part. Okay. So this is uh, to answer your, your first question, Praveen. Uh, the second question that you had was uh, regarding the risk assessment and risk statement. So this is altogether a very vast topic and I have discussed this in a lot of different videos that I have posted over here in this YouTube channel. So I would request, request you to please be specific if there is any particular thing uh, in the risk assessment or in the risk treatment uh, plan which you are not clear about. And uh, just to give you an overview, risk assessment is just to assess what kind of different risks are there in your current environment which you think will pose as a threat in achieving that particular management standard of ISO 27001. Uh, this is how you have to assess those risks. So make sure that you have this uh, particular objective in your mind. So make sure that you understand this part. This is the key. Uh, let me let me tell it to you again once more. So risk assessment is assessing all the risks which are there in your current 
you know uh, platform or your current scope of uh, you know domain which you are actually uh, holding up against the standard of iso 97001 so make sure that all those risks are covered as per the standard requirements of iso 97001 and if you are clear about the requirements part if you are clear about this part i'm i'm sure that you will be able to counter this part so make sure uh, you are clear about this this is very simple but again if you have any more questions about risk assessment or this treatment uh, please feel free to comment in this video and i will be happy to respond back and also uh, regarding non conformities if anyone is still not clear about uh, writing non conformities or having any doubts about what exactly is a non conformity and how exactly can you take care of the non conformities uh, make sure that you comment below in this particular video so that i can actually address that right away and also uh, just just to make sure that i summarize this properly non conformities are just to make sure that you are aware about what you are not fulfilling as a part of the standard uh, what exactly you are deviating from from the exact standard that's why you have all those non conformities in in place in your audit reports otherwise that would not be there okay so make sure that you understand this crucial part and you can write it in as 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 you know as different types of you know uh, there, there are n number of ways how you can write it i mean there is no standard way of writing it but the, the way that i have suggested in this video uh, would i think would be a better option so you can go for that but again the objective of uh, having non conformities is should be to have a actionable plan so, so that you can actually address those non conformities and remove them in the long run okay so thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all the new subscribers who have actually joined this channel if you have any queries on any of the videos that uh, i have posted over here please feel free to comment below and i am love johar i would be more than happy to respond back thank you so much thank you bye bye